Being the underdog on the Vegas scoreboard in bed, how does that make you feel? Oh, it don't make me feel any type of way. I mean, if you think of it from a logic standpoint, I should be the underdog. If you think about the car crashes, you know, the things people say I do, the eye injuries and things like that, I mean, I should be, you know, not the favorite. But I'm okay with that because I know how I train, I know how, how focused I am, and I know what I'm coming to do. I know you're, I don't think you're the underdog. Okay, you know thank you, I appreciate that. Hey, Earl, you finally got the first face off out of the way. What did you take from that, from the sides and everything? That you guys did the face off? Oh, I, don't, I didn't take too much from it. Um, you know, it's just, it's just what it was, you know, it's just, you know, it's a mutual respect there for each other, you know, so I didn't take nothing from it. It's just, it got me more pumped up my height. It definitely got me more pumped up my height, but I didn't take nothing from it. What, how do you feel now that the fight's ready to go and the negotiations are over and now it's just training? Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, I feel like this is what we both wanted. Um, you know, it took some time, but we got it done. You know, the best fighting the best. And, uh, you know, what people were saying it took too long. It didn't take too long at all because we're fighting for tomorrow for now. We would have fought four or five years ago. Yeah, that would have been a great fight, but we wouldn't have fought for all tomorrow because it wouldn't be as lived as people say. So, I mean, I, it's a lot of comparison. You know, how he did with Sean Porter, how he did with Kelly Brook and all these different guys. So, I feel like right now, this is when, you know, the top guys, cream of the crown, fighting each other and see who's the best fighter in boxing. What do you make of the performances that Terrence Crawford has had against your mutual opponents? A lot of folks have said a lot of different things about him being able to knock the guys out that you uh, weren't, aside from Kel Brook. What do you think about that? I mean, if you look, if you look, when he fought Sean Porter, I mean, even Sean Porter came out and said that, you know, he didn't train like his dad wanted him to train. He felt like a lot of things were unnecessary that he needed to do that his dad wanted him to do. So, you know, he, he didn't train like his dad wanted him to train. And usually, that's what he does. He trained like how his dad wanted him to train. But at this time, you know, he was saying that he has enough experience. He don't need to do those things. And you see what happens. So, and you don't see Sean Porter gas out. He gas out in like the six, seven round. Like, when did Sean Porter gas out? You know, so I feel like, you know, he didn't take it. He took it as a guy who was happy. Basically, you know, halfway in, he was on the verge of thinking about retiring anyway. So, you know, I feel like, you know, it is what it is. But you know, Kel Brook, Kel Brook was already basically broken and just, you know, basically looking for looking for a payday. And when I fought those guys, they all had titles when I fought them. Sean Porter was a world champion. Kel Brook was a world champion. So, you know, I fought them, you know, at their best. It's a lot harder to stop. A beat, you know, a guy with a world title and a guy who has everything to lose. Do you think the Sean Porter you fought would have beat Terrence the night they fought? Oh, yeah. He yeah. Would've? Yeah. Well, if he wouldn't have beat him, he would have definitely got him a better fight. Definitely got a better fight. Like, when do we see, when do you see Sean Porter gas out? Like, that's a serious question. When you see Sean Porter get tired? You don't, you don't see Sean Porter. Like, he's known for his nutrition and, you know, how he come in the fights. He didn't fade in the when you dropped him in your fight. That was just you coming on. It wasn't Sean weakening a little bit. So. Nah, he didn't fade. He was like, t like he was like, right, come right, on. Right. Like, he was, he was trying to fight. Like, he was still trying to fight, still throwing punches and things like that. So, I mean, y'all never see Sean Porter, you know, fade out like he did with Terrence. Like, then he even come out and say in the interviews, like, he wasn't doing the things that his daddy told him to do. So, I mean, it is what it is. So. Everyone's hey guys, kind of expecting you to be the more. bulldozer. You guys, Sean, just hold on a second. Earl, thank we you got, for we got a whole bunch of people here, so we got to move Thanks, down. Thanks, Earl. How you doing, Chad?